of course the dam is right here, so people go up there and then they have to turn around and come back this way. The same way, so it's always loud in the background. Sorry about that. Jesus Christ almighty. My name is Jillian and this is Jillian Camps Arizona and today we're going to be talking about the Zoom H1N microphone. I've been getting a lot of hiss in the videos and they said that it's because I have my microphone plugged directly into my camera. So I'm looking to just do a little unboxing of this. I picked this up for about $100. It comes with a 2 gigabyte SD card, but I bought actually um, a larger SD card for it, a 32 gig. So uh, let's get going and go ahead and unbox this. First of all, let's take a look at the features. They're actually written right here on the back. So according to the features, it says it's got an XY mic design capturing perfect stereo image, records audio up to 24 bit, 96 kilohertz wave format, 1.25 inch monochrome LCD display, one touch button controls, limiter and auto level switches include slate tone generator for dslr video again i'm not too familiar with audio or how like this all works but i'm really excited to try and use some of those features i you know i'm just interested in doing like the plug and play feature for this you know just plugging my microphone directly into it and then seeing how it works so it'll be pretty exciting to do includes uh, okay i got that so usb microphone function for PC, Mac, or iOS device designed to handle up to 120 decibel SPL and records on micro SD, micro SD HD cards up to 32 gigs. So I did get the 32 gig card, the maximum that this would have, and it is a micro. So let's go ahead and do a little unboxing of it and see how it works. Sorry if you can hear a lot of background noise. I'll try and be fast. So it just comes uh, like this. It looks like this just slides out. Okay, and that's it. So that's empty now, the little boxes. And it comes just in this box here. So like this lifts up and it looks like these are the instructions and uh, the warranty. So that's interesting. And it comes with batteries. Looks like the batteries fell out. They're down here actually. Uh, and then it just comes in this little bag here and I think that's it. So it's just this little cardboard thing, right? So that's it. It just comes in this little shell to package it all and fold it all back in too. So, and then here it is. It doesn't actually come with a carrying case. Apparently it just comes um, in a, this black like felt bag. So I'll probably just keep it in here for posterity, you know, to keep the dust off it and whatnot. So here it is. It's actually, this is what it looks like. I'll bring it close. So you can see that there, and it's got um, kind of the record button, audio, LO, low cut, limiter, and auto level buttons. Those are across right here. It's got a big giant record button kind of at thumb level right here, so that's nice. It's got the option buttons for stop, play, and pause, backwards and forwards if you're skipping tracks. So that's nice down there, and you can see that. And then it's just got the uh, microphones at the top there so these are actually pretty nice quality and it's got a little cage to keep them safe and then on the side it's got uh, the line in and a place for the micro SD it says it comes with the two gig card so oh it's empty I wonder if the two gig card is in the instructions let's see oh it says it doesn't come with a two gig card. Okay, the other one said it did. Two AAA batteries, H1N, quick start guide, the warranty. Okay, fine, I guess it doesn't come with it. And then it's just got a line in on the side there for that. And it looks like a little charger cable, oh no, USB in order to do a microphone from there, so. This is neat. So let's let me put the batteries in and then we'll try and uh, turn this on. So all right, the battery shoved in there and it looks like it's got a little screw on the back. So that means that you can uh, mount it to the top of a camera or to uh, a pole if you so wish in order to get closer to your uh, subject, you know, by putting the microphone close, but not in frame of the camera. So. And it looks like it's, you know, I like it because it's just handheld, you know, this is very nice. 
and it's got a little it's got different features i'm just not too sure how to use all this but i'm just going to be using the line in here mostly for the recording in order to record appropriately so okay now i got the batteries in let me try and i'm just going to try and press like the record button maybe that'll start it no oh there's a power button on the side you hold it hold to power on okay so slide it over to power on Okay, it asked me if, if I want to select English as the language. Let me try and press the record button. Oh, that's not it. Oh, it's got a little check mark by the last one. So use these buttons in order to navigate apparently. So I'm going to click on English and you got to set the date, which today is April 27th. And uh, sorry, you're probably not going to see this until June sometime, but <laughs> that's just how it works. Okay, and then it wants the time, 9.36. Yeah, it's this loud for 9.36, I know. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to open up my little SD card and pop that in here. And this is just the SanDisk Ultra. I like buying these, I think they're really good. And it just has a little thing where you can cut it and then you just pop it open, so. I'm trying to be gentle because uh, it just comes in this little plastic thingy that you have to peel open or cut open or however we get this open. <laughs> I'm honestly not too sure how to get it open so I'm just going to cut see if that'll work. Nope. Okay then. Oh come on. It comes like in a film, so it's hard to... There it goes. Okay, it's like a little plastic film that you have to scrape off with your fingernail, apparently. Okay, there we go. You know, like lunches in the 90s? It's kind of like this, sort of like little plastic film on everything. Like Hungry Man. Okay, here it is. So this is the 32 gig card. You can see that there. It's tiny. Micro SD again, because it'll fit in here. And it says to put it this way. Okay. And just like any SD card, you press it in order to pop it in and out. It's like a little click, 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 click. You know, like your card at the ATM. And it looks like it's formatting. Okay, cool. And then it tells you that it's got 50 hours of time, so that's more than enough for me for all my videos. So this is exciting. I'm very excited to use this. And let me tell you, you will be the first to know because I'm going to be using this in the very next video. So, all right. So thank you so much for watching. Here, let me show you what it looks like actually before we go on the LCD screen. So you can see that there, that it has 50 hours, 14 minutes, and 12 seconds. And then it's just got all the options for the low cut, limiter, and auto levels. I'm just not sure, you know, what these all do and what the audio does. Because you can actually go all the way up to like MP3 format and record a lot. But uh, I'll probably record in a higher quality format than the 16-bit is what they have as the default. But, you know. It'll be exciting to try out all the different options, so. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this Jillian Camps, Arizona video. Feel free to thumbs up this video if you like this content and you wanna see more like it. Also, if you're not currently following me and you wanna follow me around, feel free to hit that subscribe button below or you can like my page on Facebook. That's at Jillian Camps, Arizona. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.